Hi, it's Agnes here from agnesknowles.ca. In case you're wondering what a spider could possibly teach me or you about business, um, let me show you first where I live. I live right on the edge of a rainforest, so all sorts of creatures are a fact of my life, um, including spiders. Now, for the last several years, I've had a good working agreement with these spiders that I will leave their webs alone, especially this time of year when they're fattening up. Um, in exchange, they stay out of my house. And for the most part, it's worked really, really well. So um, this spider has set up shop right outside my dining room. So right as I open my sliding glass door to my dining room. So it's become quite noticeable. And unfortunately for all concerned, he's actually set up his web right at face level. So I'm uh, somewhat paranoid. I'll be the first to admit to, that I'm actually going to forget and step out the door. Um, but anyways, what I want you to do is I want you to notice this guy. Um, right now it's morning and he has curled up behind the lip where the screen door would normally close except obviously I don't want to close it I will squish him um, it's getting cold at night now and he hides in here now it's the time of year when he is fattening up and um, needless to say to get a few hours sleep could mean that he might miss a meal so what he has done if you will notice is he keeps one hand or I guess it's a leg on the edge of his web. So if something lands in the web, it's obviously going to shake the fragile, well not fragile, but the um, very thin threads of his web. And believe you me, he is out there in a shot. He, <laughs> he wakes up really quickly. Um, where I'm gonna tie this back to business is the fact that, I mean, there's times when we do need to take a break either from our business or from part of our business. And um, there could be a variety of reasons, but life does happen. Now, what I would recommend you do is do what this spider is doing. Keep a finger on the pulse of whatever is important to you. So whether that means subscribing to one of your mentors or making sure you're on their email list or taking a few moments to, you know, try to catch up on a video, whatever it takes to keep a finger on the pulse of those pieces that are important to you that you can't be on top of at a certain point in time. So, as I say, it was sort of an interesting analogy just because um, with this fellow being right at face height, um, I have been noticing him and his habits and it was really interesting to me how he kept one leg out there on his web, no matter how cold it gets or what time of day it is that he's napping. Um, that's how he makes sure he doesn't miss a trick. <laughs> Anyways, um, thanks for tuning in today. It's Agnes with the strange analogy of the day. And uh, we'll talk to you next time. Bye bye.